respected students welcome back everyone you all know that around hundreds of videos i have made on data analytics especially in power bi sql and data concepts for experienced people like 1 year 2 year 5 year 6 years and recently i have taken poll on our channel and social media channels that how many candidate students people are fresher so around 40% of our audience is fresher और बिगनर इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स डोमेन और पावर भी है ठीक है तो मोस्टली व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू मेक थ्री टू फाइव वीडियोस और थ्री टू फाइव पार्ट्स ऑफ पावर बी आई ट्यूटोरियल वेरी वेरी बेसिक ऑल द थिंग्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट टुडे एंड हियर यू कैन सी दैट फोर्टीन पॉइंट आई हैव ब्रॉड एंड दीज आर द क्वेश्चन आई हैड इंट्रैक्शन विद लाइक हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ फ्रेशर बिगनर्स कैंडिडेट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम or uh, like linkedin too so they were having so much of questions all questions i have uh, written here and answers so this video is purely th like it is not practical but i am going to explain all the points this is the first part of video of power bi tutorial for freshers and beginners theek okay? hai if you and i am going to start the video if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media ठीक है बिकॉज ऑन सोशल मीडिया ओनली आई एम आस्किंग दिस टाइप्स ऑफ पोल एंड आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट व्हाट यू ऑल गाइस वांट फ्रॉम मी ठीक है सो ऑल सोशल मीडिया लिंक्स आर गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एस्पेशली फॉलो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड लिंक सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वीडियो फोर्टीन पॉइंट आर देर ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग एंड दोज हु आर लाइक फ्रेशर्स लाइक ट्वेंटी 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 और ट्वेंटी बैच और सम ऑफ द पीपल Who are 2016-17 uh, pass out, but they were doing UPSC or MPSC or any other thing or home business are, uh, and now they are trying to come in IT industry. For them all everything properly, I will explain you what is Power BI. Okay, what graduation is required, how much package, and everything I have written. But uh, while explaining in the video also, I am going to tell many points. Not everything I was able to cover on this page. Okay, so now properly let's start with the video. first point what is the first point what is power bi i've written so see microsoft first of all power bi is a tool of microsoft company you all know that how much big microsoft brand is okay so what you uh, the tool which you will be learning power bi it is of microsoft the best thing and it is the updated version we can say or the next of excel microsoft excel we all have used you all know that since 1990s when that all revolution happened in india related to it industry where rajiv gandhi was prime minister then after narasimha rao came lpg model you all know that theek okay? hai and even digital india what it has happened after 2016 after narendra modi uh, means narendra modi came in power in 2014 but in 2016 digital india started so all those 1980 1990 and after 2014 16 also everything i am going to cover in this video how the revolution has happened of it industry in india theek okay? hai so you all know that we uh, means when we were in school so uh, we have used all the microsoft tools only like uh, powerpoint is there word is there excel is there so microsoft is a very big brand theek okay? hai not only in india but in world also so the tool which we are going to learn it has very good future whatever technology or uh, tool which we are uh, learning now make sure that last 5 10 20 years it was good no doubt but next 10 years it has the future or not in world and in india as well so power bi has very good future in india also and in world also okay so now i will tell you what is power bi first of all it is a business intelligence tool where we make reports and explain in detail descriptive and predictive analysis theek okay? hai first of all what is descriptive analysis now it is telling about past now let's take the example of any company tata's any company theek okay? hai tata's any company is there so what we do in power bi na tata's that companies whatever data is generated like yesterday how much uh, cars they have sold theek okay? hai and from that how many were sold in maharashtra how many were sold in uttar pradesh how many were female males how many farmers have taken or how many businessmen or job people have taken tertiary sectors people like this proper analysis what were the customer name what were their mobile number emails 
everything properly these types of data is getting generated in excel or like sharepoint we can say uh, one drive is there snowflake database is there so these types of uh, data is getting generated then in power bi that data is pulled okay and we make report from that so in that report for example our client is tata so tata's 2023 uh, whatever business was there properly we are analyzing okay how much total sales happen how much revenue uh, they generated what was the profit of that okay how many number of males who bought the car or uh, females were there from which area in first quarter how much sales happen in second quarter how much happen like this all properly uh, what business we derive that we do in power bi and not only business domains pharmacy domains also you all know that in 2020 covid happened so every day that uh, data was coming yesterday how many cases happened uh, like uh, how many deaths how many people recovered everything that covid we were able to see chart what was that it is business intelligence only that was done in power bi only okay so this descriptive analysis like what in past what was happening that data we are fetching and we are deriving that in our power bi reports okay uh, i will show you one um, We are going to create these reports. See, like these charts and everything are we are making. This is, okay. These are cards, donut chart. Here, see, we are able to see pie chart, like this, okay. See, profit, sales. I was showing you know, these types of report we will be making in our Power BI tool in second, third part. Right now, currently, we are in first part, okay. So uh, Power BI right now it is number one in India, no doubt even in world it is also. Okay. So and what we do here in first point also I have written we convert uh, raw data we get raw data this see convert raw data into very important insights. Insights mean that only what chart and see these charts, pie chart is there, tree map is there, funnel everything we are going to use afterwards. Okay, now uh, common data sources which are there that I, I will tell you like Excel is there, CSV format from SQL database we take, Google Analytics, you all know Google Analytics is quite famous. Okay, if any website is there, then Google Analytics show how many visitors came on that website, what was the bounce rate, how many uh, minutes they were there on your website, how much they scrolled, images or videos, everything it shows that also we properly make common visuals you know pie chart is there bar chart also it is quite common card funnel is there common calculations like if any column is there sales column is there then we just do some of that column and we find what is the total sale overall okay or for uh, any particular month or for any particular year then average we find count we find like customers are there then uh, we find the number of uh, count the number of rows then we understood that 8563 customers are there like this count and all those things we do okay now coming to second point power bi is number one tool currently in india yes 100 percent power bi is number one tool currently in indian world let me tell you one story about that when did power bi gone boom or number one in india it was it started around that uh, revolution or that uh, craze started coming in 18 last and 19 somewhere 2018 last and 19 and after that covid when many people uh, were there at home then many people started learning power and everything and that supply which is there now that has become so much and now let me tell you one thing in india around 40 percent of share whatever the companies are there it industries are there those who de those who work in data analytics those who create reports there are many other tools clicksen is there okay tableau is there even i had work on clicksense also okay but i will tell you one thing that power bi is very good in terms of all sigma is also there google data studio is also there but there are many tools but in india the companies which are there around 40 percent of companies use microsoft power bi only to make reports okay and after digital india 
what I was telling you first point now. Uh, after 1985 or 86, somewhere that IT revolution started. That time Rajiv Gandhi was prime minister. Then after 1991 also LPG model happened. Narasimha was prime minister. Then again that everything uh, computer uh, went home to home like mobiles then came everything then we started using microsoft tools everything that started then cdac was launched you all know that cdac and uh, big also revolution happened after 2016 also when digital india happened around now more than 70 crore people in india use internet so you just think how much data generation is happening data generation which is there not what is uh, there that is so much now like in case you all know that usa is number one the reason is because they have many data centers there you all know that data centers so after digital india also um, a number of internet users in india increase so data generation is also quite uh, increased like 5x time data centers have also increased so india is earlier india used to uh, rely on foreign uh, projects only okay from usa uk you might have heard that uh, Indian companies are relied on US, UK, Canada, somewhere. Uh, from there, we will get project. And in 2008, what happened when that uh, all that uh, problems happened in USA? After that, somewhere India's market also went little bit down. Not that much, but it went little bit down in 2008. The reason was because we used to rely on USA projects only, the projects which are coming from USA. But right now, the data generation is happening in India also. The number of data centers has also increased in India. So now, Indian projects are also there many. And uh, that's the reason somewhere it is now little bit helping us. Third point is, it is Excel familiar tool. So, uh, for example, you all know that in uh, school days also we have used Excel. Okay, Excel, PowerPoint, everything. So, Power BI is Excel familiar. If you if you will start with Tableau or ClickSense or any other BI tool, you will take so much of time. But the best thing about Power BI, which is there, it is same as Excel only, Microsoft Excel only. So, when you start uh, learning Power BI, that excel knowledge or you have you are having that hands-on on excel it will help you while learning power bi also and power query editor which is there in excel that is only there in power bi also it is etl tool my power query editor so same to same it is there so it will help you so fast learning all grasping knowledge practical knowledge also now coming to fourth point see uh, it's not compulsory that you must be computer or it engineer only to learn power bi let me tell you my story. I am mechanical engineer. Okay. And uh, I have seen many of my friends. Those who were become BA. Okay? From this background. They learned Power BI. And they enter the industry. And right now they are working. Having more than 10-15 lakhs of package also. Okay. So no uh, graduation compulsory. Nothing is there. Okay. Any graduation is there. You can uh, learn Power BI. Huh? Somewhere if you are computer IT. Yeah, some of the companies are there from 10 companies, 2-3 companies are there who say that computer IT background we will take or mostly engineers we will take. Okay, some of the companies are there. I personally accept this point in the video, but not all companies are like that. You are BCom or you are BSc or you are uh, not from that computer background. So we will not take. Not all companies do these things. Only 2-3 companies out of 10 companies does these types of things. Okay, fifth point is no coding language required in past. Yes, uh, like if you are having zero knowledge about coding now, then also it's acceptable. No issues. Uh, you can start learning Power BI. But after st uh, in even in Power BI also now, DAX and M language is there. That is uh, another point I will tell you here. But if you are not having coding language uh, experience also, C language or uh, Python is there, Java is there then also no issues huh. coming to sixth point see here i will be i will tell you frankly everything english is needed but not that at expert level normal is fine see you need english uh, uh, if you are a power bi developer let me be frank the reason is because you are working on front end you will be making reports and the reports which you are making that you will showcase to the clients huh. if you are a fresher then you will uh, not be able to show but after two three years of experience i know that this video i am making for freshers only but after when you will get two three years of experience huh, 
in that business operation meetings which are there along with the client on tuesdays and thursdays you need to demo your power bi report ha huh, that demo is of only 1 2 minutes your all the managers will be there but you need to demo that report sometimes you need to take the requirements or whatever the issues are there so you need to have the conversation with client okay the clients are mostly of uk us only and even if your client is india along with uh, he is from india in that business operation meeting english language is only used in internal meetings we use marathi hindi any language frankly speaking we are speaking marathi also in internal company meetings in hindi also or in some of the people are there from south they speak in tamil telugu bengali uh, like this they use so internal meetings which are there there we can use indian languages like marathi hindi but the with client even if your client is from india also they also we speak in english only okay so somewhere normal english you must know you have to know because after 2 3 years of experience you need to demo your power bi reports to the client you are not working from back end you are working on front end you are making reports okay coming to seventh point see sql is compulsory as a power bi developer SQL is compulsory. If you are learning only Power BI in 2024, mark my words, no one is going to give you job. As a experience, you forget. As a fresher, also it has become very hard to get job in Power BI uh, only with Power BI and not SQL in 2024. Even not a uh, MNC company will also not give. Uh, that uh, small scale companies or startups or mid scale they they will they to will ask power bi with S, uh, sql also but even big giants companies like tcs cape gemini accenture also they will say no no along with power bi we need sql so sql is compulsory while learning power bi you have to simultaneously learn sql also or first year you have started learning power bi today one month you are learning power bi and next 15 days sql that's also fine but sql is compulsory 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 now coming to uh, there are two languages in power bi okay first is dax and another is m language dax is compulsory guys data analysis expression language it is compulsory where we do aggregation calculations everything this sum average min max what i was telling na that is the, there in dax only so dax is compulsory m language is not compulsory but it is good to know we use that in power query to make custom columns and all those things but dax we have to use without dax you can't be power bi developer ha huh, but let me tell you one thing it is not hard like that c language and java and all those things it is very simple only one or two lines codes we have to make that two intelligence is there in power bi that is going to tell uh, you means for example if you are writing sum then it will tell to pass table name column names com all those things it is also helping you okay so somewhere it is simple very simple as compared to other programming functional language okay now coming to ninth point basic data concepts good to know basic data concepts means like what types of data okay uh, what are the types of data what are the data types what is whole number data type text data type uh, date data type okay if uh, in your column values are there 1 2 3 4 then it is whole number If value is there eighty three point sixty six, then it is decimal number. If value is there like Vinayak, then it is tax. If value is there like eighteen February, then two thousand twenty four, it is date data type. Like this basic data types concepts or types of data or uh, whatever it is there, other basic basic things that you should know to understand it. Okay, and then uh, Power Query, ha? Huh? Uh, see in Power BI, na? uh this is power bi desktop what i am showing there is one etl tool also power query editor from where we fetch the data etl is like extract transform load that also everything i will explain already i have made video you can watch that also but in these also part 1 2 3 whatever parts are going to come there also i am going to explain you properly okay so power query is etl tool uh, it is built in power bi only from here we can go see here transform data is there now we just need to go here see this is power query right now we have not fetch the data so all these options are not properly showing but when we will fetch the data see from new source we can take excel everything this in part 2 everything properly i am going to explain so here table will come everything 
ठीक है सो पावर क्वेरी एडिटर टूल एंड फ्रॉम हियर सी वेन वी मेक रिपोर्ट वी पब्लिश दैट इन आवर पावर बी आई सर्विस सो दैट क्लाइंट्स विल बी एबल टू सी दैट ओके लाइक मीन्स दिस दिस आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू प्रॉपरली वाइल वी विल स्टार्ट practically na that time i will explain but you just need to publish in power bi service these are all the parts of power bi only it is very simple ah so as a fresher beginner how much package uh, you will get let me tell you one thing there are two types of companies service industry and product based industry service industries always give less package compared to product based industry so in service industries like tcs is there and accenture and all those things are there na there you will get package of 4 to 5 lakh and uh, product based industry which are there like microsoft google zomato all those things then you will get package of 6 lakh 7 lakh and more than that also you can get and how much duration is required to learn this properly around 2 to 2.5 months along with revision whenever you are talking about duration na never only uh, talk about only learning uh, any specific tool that one time revision is very important if you are not able to do that one time revision na that uh, in interval so properly you will not able to tell uh, those things that one time two time practical revision along with memorizing understanding making notes everything this i have told 2 to 2.5 months uh, you will need if your grasping power is good around 2 months if your somewhere grasping power is not good then it will take around 3 months but along with revision i have told this uh, duration ha huh, but in that 2.5 months what you will be learning like how much uh, to enter market you need intermediate level of power bi earlier basic power bi if you know then it was okay but right now you all know everything is on demand and supply the supply has happened so much in last 2 3 years many people have learned power bi no doubt new projects have also came demand has also increased for power bi okay everything has happened but the supply is also good so somewhere earlier in 2020 2021 if you are having basic knowledge of power bi then also they were taking but as a fresher today you need intermediate level of knowledge of power bi not fresher theek okay? hai so the intermediate level of uh, knowledge of power bi basic sql sql X, sql is compulsory okay basic sql if no no issue basic data concept and basic excel is required actually excel is not compulsory required but the reason why i have written here na sometimes for data validation all those things na uh, excel is required just for 5 10 minutes but it is required and writing excel in your resume it will uh, make your resume heavier or it will help you if you know excel actually only these three things are required but purposely i have written this excel also so make sure it will take 2 days max 2 to 3 days in this 2.5 months of duration but Uh, knowing excel and somewhere that pivot and all those things basic things na where you will be able to do data validation that is going to help you okay now coming to 13 point linkedin when you will learn all those things linkedin has good number of internships in power bi frankly speaking in power bi sql in pune there are there many i have seen two three times in fact i have helped also many uh, students get the internships via linkedin so linkedin has good number of internship you must have linkedin account uh, you i know that you all are freshers this video is specifically for freshers you might be fresher of 2020 batch or 23 batch make sure start uh, create your linkedin profile start building uh, connections uh, make your profile good even you can see my profile also in social media uh, in description box my link is given from that also if any good things you find you can copy from that and write there in your profile i will not uh, uh, tell me to do anything like copyright and anything you can take from my profile also if you find anything good uh, just just don't take my profile pic that's it other uh, just kidding huh? but if any uh, points are there lines are there uh, or keywords ki most important keywords are there primary keywords if you find anything good on my profile you can take from my profile and uh, you can uh, paste in on your profile also but linkedin means uh, uh, before you complete your learning in power bi properly theek okay, hai in this 3 months make sure that uh, your linkedin profile is having more than 1000 friends in which 2000 couple in which 200 friends must be hrs human resource 
and some of the 10 15 must be ceos of company and rest others must be related to data analytics also only and join the groups related to data analytics power bi on linkedin do all those things you will find good internships there and job also job also you will find but specifically i have written this one for internship because linkedin is having internships uh, and coming to 14 point to make project portfolio uh, you can use uh, github and uh, novi pro okay for example uh, two three projects uh, or on data set you had work on linkedin in this couple of months or earlier also if you had completed everything you can is you can use uh, github and novi pro to make uh, project portfolios okay and for resume the best site is what i use is flowcv.com the best site very simple to use and here easily in half an hour you can make a uh, proper resume they are having many templates every all the options are there okay so this was the first part of the video of power bi tutorial for freshers and beginner mostly all the questions which are there for freshers or beginners that i have answered even if you are having any kind of question Make sure you are commenting within one hour. I will try to reply you. Follow me on social media, especially uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Telegram, everything is there. And um, this was the first part of our video. More parts are also going to come related to Power Bi tutorial for freshers and beginners. So if you like the video, like it. Uh, share with your friends, those who are completely fresher beginners into data analytics domain or Power BI tool. And we will all grow together. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching till end.